Hi, this is Sara. Welcome back to Hello Iran TV. In this video, I will show you the ancient Ephesus, which was one of the most important cities of Greece. So join me. The Ephesus located in the Selchuk city in Izmir and we arrived to Selchuk city now. It's a small city. So I bought the ticket for entrance fee which is 120 lira. Let's go inside. It's back outside. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So as I told you, today I'm in Ephesus. Uh, which was one of the most important cities in Greece and present day it is located in Selçuk uh, one of the cities of Izmir province in Turkey so this city was built in the 10th century BC on the site of the former Arzawan capital by Attic and Ionian Greek colonists during the classical Greek era, it was one of the 12 cities that were members of the Ionian League. The city also came under control of the uh, Roman Republic in 129 BC. This city was so famous because it was near the Temple of Artemis which was selected as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. This Ephesus includes some important buildings such as the Library of Celsius and a theater which is capable of holding more than 24,000 spectators. Here also is a small theater and I guess we will see the bigger one a bit later. But let's see this one first. This theater is so weird. Uh, I can hear my voice very well and it is somehow like echoes. This is one of the entrances to the theater. So the Ephesus was built in 10th century and it has survived many attacks and battles and it has seen many empires during decades and years. The city was destroyed in 2063 by Goths, although it was afterwards uh, rebuilt. But anyway, again in 614, ruined because of earthquake. And today the ruins of Ephesus are favorite international tourist attraction. In 546 BC, Ephesus fell to the Persian Empire, which is so interesting, along with the rest of Anatolia. Ephesus continued to thrive even as other Ionian cities rebelled against Persian rule. In 334 BC, Alexander the Great defeated Persians and interred Ephesus. And after his death, one of his generals, Lysimachus, took over the city and renamed it Arsenia. Lysimachus moved Ephesus two miles away and built a new harbor and new defensive walls. Once he killed in one of his uh, battles, then again uh, the city was renamed Ephesus. It reminds me of Persepolis in Shiraz, Iran. beautiful architecture and you know it is so weird how they have built 
these buildings on that day. Just look at the details. So in the Ephesus, I have uh, visited some tourists in here. Where are you from? I'm Jordanian. Okay, I'm from Iran. Oh, nice to see you. <laughs> yes, nice to see you too. Welcome to Ephesus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are near to the Celsius library. You can see the remains of that library. Let's go closer. This library was one of the important monuments in Ephesus city and it was built in 110 AD by a consul, uh, Gaius Julius Aquila, as a funerary monument for his father. And the library is considered an architectural marvel and is one of the only remaining examples of a library from the Roman Empire. Also, it was the third largest library in the Roman world. The interior measured roughly 180 square meters. And the library was destroyed in a fire that resulted either from an earthquake or a Gothic invasion in 262 CE. And these are the ruins of Celsius Library. So this is one of the other important buildings of the Ephesus. The biggest theater in Ephesus, which about 24,000 people can gather in here. And uh, at the top of the, this theater, uh, those buildings were galleries. Also, the system of this building is so interesting. If you say something in the middle of this stage, then everybody can hear that. It's so interesting. So it was the backstage, the people getting ready in this room. And just imagine, they came on the stage and they face this theater 24,000 people. It was so interesting and also a bit stressful. Okay, this is one of the ways that goes inside the theater. Let's go inside an interesting tunnel. It's a bit dark, but I hope you can see in the camera. Now we are in the theater. This place also was important city for Christianity uh, since the Saint Paul and Saint John have visited this city and they have lived in here. The first Christian congregation in Ephesus was founded by St. John and expanded by St. Paul. On his return journey from Corinth, Paul came to the city of Ephesus to fulfill his promise after a short visit and he came back and stayed for about two and a half years between 53 to 56 AD. According to a local legend, St. John brought the Virgin Marie to Ephesus and they had no place to stay. John found a cave and hide Mary there for her safety. In more recent years, the cave has been renamed the Cave of St. Paul due to the inscriptions on the walls which refer to the St. Paul. The cave was discovered by a group of priests in 1892 to protect these delicate and ancient wall paintings the cave is not open to the public unfortunately okay guys so i have visited the ancient ephesus and it was nice so i have tried to tell you a summary of the history behind this beautiful city 
Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.